My doctor told me I need to get on a diet. I can't do it. I'm like one day on, two, three, four days off. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, I have another fried candy bar. I hope for the best. That's my logic. <laughs> There's too many diets out there. That's my problem. I don't know which diet is going to be the best diet for me. You got the Zone, the Atkins, the Scarsdale, Hollywood 24-hour diet. That's supposed to be a great one. Comes with a plastic surgeon. <laughs> right now, I'm on the Clydesdale diet. Mostly consists of hay. Hey, give me some of this. Hey, how about some of that? Hey, don't take that away yet. I wasn't done yet. They say in order for you to maximize the potential of your diet, you got to work out. I started working out at a new gym. You might have heard of it, Curves. <laughs> well, that's a good gym. First day, they give you a personal trainer. She stood me in front of a full-length mirror. She says, Mark, we're going to identify your trouble spots. <laughs> I see it every day. It's all trouble. I said, if you really want to identify my trouble spots, shouldn't we be looking in my refrigerator? That's where the trouble starts. <laughs> she told me she was going to introduce me to muscle confusion. I hadn't worked out in two years when I started working out at the Curves. I said, my muscles are confused because I'm here. They're going, where's the couch? But she was a good trainer. Great trainer. I played sports all my life from the time I was a little kid in the fifth grade throughout college. I've had some of the best trainers in the world. I went to the University of Southern California, and we had some of the best trainers there that you could possibly imagine. But this trainer at the Curves, best trainer I've ever had bar none. This is how good this trainer is at the Curves. First six weeks, my chest went from an A to a C cup. <laughs> I got to the gym one day, my trainer said to me, she says, Mark, today we're gonna bench press. And, and I'm a man, did I mention that? <laughs> you say to a man, we're gonna bench press. We swell right up, don't we guys? <laughs> <laughs> Voice get all deep. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bench press. She grabbed two tens and put one on each side of the bar. I was like, G -g girl, get out of here with that. Get four of them 45s from over there and put them on this side of the bar. I'm going to put four 45s on this side of the bar. We're going to bench press like a man. Right here in the curves. So we loaded the bar up. It had that arc in it. You ever see that dude at the gym lifting all the weights? You can't go home because you got your car up there. <laughs> so I get down on the bench, I get ready to start bench pressing, I put my hands on the bar. And when you start bench pressing, you can't put your hands just wheely kneely anywhere on the bar. Am I right, guys? Woo! Now make sure your hands are symmetrical, right? Guys? After about 15 minutes of that, I was like, "Woo! <laughs> this is a tough workout you got going right here. Is that muscle confusion you was talking about? I'm confused. <laughs> Finally, I get down on the bench. I throw the weight right up. But <laughs> Gravity is a funny thing. <laughs> the weight came down so fast, made a whistling sound. <laughs> I tried to bounce it off my chest. You know how you get that little, it sunk deeper into my chest. <laughs> Every time I moved, it was like quicksand. I was like, ah! <laughs> I felt like I was about to pass out, but you can't pass out at the curves. Your woman's going to be embarrassed. <laughs> I did what every man in here should do. If you find yourself in that situation, I let out just a little bit of pee. <laughs> Not enough to be construed as I peed on myself, just a squirt. Whoosh, to help take the edge off the pain. You understand what I'm talking about? Just a little spritz. Whoosh, so I can think what to do next. A, a splash. Whoosh, so I could get a moment of clarity. Wow. Once you get that clarity, your mind will tell you what to do. Roll it down. You get down to your waist, you can sit up, blame it on her. You're supposed to be spotting me. You know I ain't worked out in two years. Where are those tens? 
I work out hard when I'm at the curves, too. I'm really trying to get myself together, so I'm, I'm in there trying to put in some work. Yeah. I'll bench everybody at the curves. Nobody at that curves can out bench me. There is one silver back of a woman. <laughs> who outcurls me, really strong, 18 inch biceps. She comes into the gym hot every time I see her, she's like. <laughs> Yo, homeboy, you using them 50s? No, ma'am. <laughs> nice tooth. <laughs> I was working out hard at the curves one day, right? So I go home to shower, because they don't let me shower at the curves no more. <laughs> and, I, and I slipped in the shower and, and broke my back. True story. I crushed my T11. Get you some sticky stuff in your toe. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The mats, the stripes, the geometrical shapes, some sand, something to stop you from slipping and sliding. It's dangerous to bathe. <laughs> this particular day, I go home, get in the shower, and I like to be clean. I use a whole bar of soap in the shower. <laughs> I look like a snowman in the shower, if you can picture that. <laughs> I get all snowmaned up and I turn to let the water hit me in the face. Like I'd done so many times before without incident. And all of a sudden, I was airborne. Let me tell you something, you 250 some odd pounds and you are suddenly four feet off the ground floating out of the shower. It's a frightening situation. I needed some clarity, I needed it now. I let out a little pee. I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot of pee, kind of like a water wiggle, if you can picture that. <laughs> Finally, that clarity kicked in for me. Wow. We, we had a shampoo. This grout has a little mold in it. I, I might need some CLR for that. Is this a new shower curtain? I don't remember buying no new shower curtain. And then I hit the floor. But Now I'm laying there on the floor, naked snowman, pee in his eye. And I got two cats. Cats do not respect your personal space. The cats kick the door in. One of them is sitting on my chest. His face this close to mine. judging. He said, what you doing down here? Which really freaked me out. I thought I was dead. I didn't know he could talk. I had him for two years. He hadn't said a word. 